camera spraying the second fungicide or the T2 fungicide on our uh, spring barley this morning. It's the 22nd of June. Considering the spring we've had and the dry weather, it is looking very nice really. Had a weed spray earlier on as well. So it's all nice and clean from weeds and there's no disease on it now really. Um, so hopefully this will protect it and keep it clean. We've had an inch of rain. We had, well, nearly an inch anyway, 24 mil. So uh, that has certainly helped the situation. It's still very dry. We did some fencing yesterday and it was pretty dry really. We so don't get the stakes in the ground and we just dug a little pit in the grass field there and the uh, rain certainly didn't go down very far but it has helped. Gonna cut some more grass as well today. Got some second cut to do. Brian, we're talking about a bit of rain coming through again on by well, a little bit of drizzle and then it's going to be raining again on Tuesday hopefully so uh, we'll get uh, some of this second cut done before that. We'll take a chance on uh, the drizzle on Sunday and fail on Monday hopefully. We always put growth regulators on now, on the winter and the spring barley. Something that we wouldn't have done years ago because we wanted as much uh, straw yield as possible, but to get just as much straw, even with the growth regulator on, and uh, just helps reduce the risk of the lodging, so uh, it's well worth doing. So it doesn't look as tall, but it's certainly uh, certainly fit and helps with the tillering and everything so this uh, field was a bit of a mess really early on well we, it was a lay ploughed down and we outwintered um, some cattle it's, it's right next door to where we had the forage um, rape crop for the cattle and uh, I did a video of that at the time and uh, so they were sort of running back onto this field before we housed them and uh, they tread it up really badly it was a bit of a mess and we thought it's probably going to be a bit of a struggle to plow it really and uh, I came down and plowed it and it plowed under really nicely and in good time so um, it had a chance to settle a bit and uh, we had a little bit of frost and that helped break it down and just went into a nice seed bed really I think um, one of my drilling videos from the spring is it's actually in this field and uh, as I say it went in nicely but uh, it was a mess and as I say the cattle were out here till early December and it was tread up quite badly but uh, it's certainly cleaned up now and uh, considering I said just now but considering the spring we've had and how much dry weather it uh, it's looking good some of the spring barley I see around is uh, not very great and not very tall so uh, we're just lucky that there was enough moisture in the ground really to get it going and uh, set it off right so hopefully now the rain we've had will uh, keep it going and the grain will fill nicely and it'll be all right because uh, I showed you the other day our field of winter barley our first one we drilled that one isn't particularly great and isn't going to yield that well I don't think so um, the spring barley hopefully make up for that we got two other fields of winter barley that are looking really nice so they will be all right but uh, yeah it's well pleased with this so we got another field uh, to spray with fungicide as well so uh, get that done and that'll be it really for spraying on the spring crops this year so right I'm off to 
finish this off and get some mowing done later so i might uh, put the camera on for some of the mowing and uh, just see what those crops are looking like because as i say they were this is this is second cuts now so it'll be interesting to see how much is there considering the dry weather we've had so uh, right so i'd uh, put a little clip in of cutting our um, second cut on the rye grass we did early it's uh, not too bad really it's uh, all in head now which uh, suits what we want anyway we don't want sort of super high quality and yeah it's alright the if you remember or if you watch back on the other videos we didn't do this field all in one go it's 15 acres and we did a part of it because the weather wasn't great at the time and uh, the ground condition was quite soft and so we the part of the field i'm in at the moment is what we did early and this is quite a nice crop really considering all the dry weather we've had since down in the corner the bit we did later that's uh, it's not really that great really it's uh, there's a bit of grass there and it's nice stuff um it's headed a bit there's now now heading and uh, yeah it's not it's not as heavy but then we probably had more bales because we cut it sort of 10 days after 10 days for fortnight after we did the first part of the field so we probably gained bales there and we've sort of lost them this side now so uh, on the second cut but, uh, but no this is this is all right really it's a hell of a lot of pollen on it and uh, sort of thank goodness for a sealed air-conditioned cab I'd say so uh, yeah I'll just take you off the windscreen there and you can have a look then at what it is it's uh, yeah quite nice rows really and It looks all right. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with another video soon.